What's up YouTube, Wyatt Fan back again with another video and today's video is going to be a story time and before I get into this video you guys are probably going to have some comments about my face or whatever. I just went kayaking for like three hours, two and a half hours and the sunscreen didn't work. So I basically look like a tomato. My arms, I don't know if you guys can even see that, there's like a white spot where my watch was. I'm, um. My legs have like this like wet line going from like mid thigh down. But yeah, that's all this video is about. Bruh, look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, look at the top of his head. <laughs> Today's video is going to be a story time about the first wrestler I ever met. Now, I've said, like, who the first wrestler I ever met was before on this channel, I think. But I've never, like, like thoroughly explained my experience with them the first time I met them, etc, etc. So this took place back in 2010. So this would have been, like, almost two years, uh, like, since I first started watching wrestling. I started watching wrestling around... I think it was around June 2008, <clears throat> or it might have been even, no, no, it was earlier because my first event was in May. So I probably started around, I'm going to say maybe May 2008. So I didn't meet any wrestlers for like the first two years of me like being a wrestling fan, which is understandable because one, they might have had signed until, but I just didn't know like how to meet them or like, or just didn't hear anything about it. So this, so, um, this was... I think January 18th, 2010, when uh, the first wrestler I met. So I think I was at the doctor or something. I don't know why. Maybe it was just a checkup or something. My cousin um, mentioned me on Facebook. This was like the time where like everyone still used Facebook because I would have been in what 2010, maybe fifth grade, or maybe sixth grade. One of those two, the fifth or sixth grade. So. Um, she did me on Facebook or whatever and said that, like, Kofi Kingston was having this autograph signing, blah, 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 blah. So, of course, this being the first wrestler, I could have had the chance to ever meet. I start freaking out. I, like, tell my dad, tell my mom, tell my nana, tell basically everyone I know that I'm, that Kofi Kingston's having this autograph signing and I have to go, blah, 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 blah. And it was at Toyota of Knoxville, which, if you know what Toyota is, it's a car, like, brand or whatever. So... Uh, this time it was actually at a car little ship. It was so it was me, my dad, and my uh, little cousin who went. Well, it's not little, it's 18. But yeah, my, my cousin who went. Um, my cousin actually didn't have anything for Kofi to sign because he was a West. I guess uh, he was a Westerny fan, but he wasn't like I guess a quote unquote Mark like I was because I was a Mark way back then too. But yeah, so he really didn't have anything for uh, Kofi to sign, so I think I gave him. Uh, like um, a foam cruiserweight championship. Why I gave him that, I don't know. I gave him that type of Kofi sign, and then I have this um, kid size uh, replica weighted all belt, which I don't know why I was getting it signed by wrestlers that were not uh, Edge, but who knows? Um, I actually had Kofi sign that. I have the picture. I'll pop it up on screen now. So he was super, super cool. He, um, we actually waited in line. It was pretty cold. I'm gonna say four hours, so we were like not the fun of the line, but I'm gonna say like closer to like the back of the front, like the start of the middle, something around there. It was a couple hour wait, but then again, we did get there pretty early. So, wait a minute, it was like I'm gonna say maybe 25 people in front of us. So, um, Toyota of Knoxville is like all glass or whatever, we can like see inside of it because it's basically they'll show him or this will show him so I see like the, the like behind of Kofi like his back and I saw freaking out I don't I wasn't like diagnosed with anxiety but I was pretty panicky um I was like oh my god oh my god um I finally get to meet a wrestler so then we like uh I get up to the table with him and then he talks to my cousin Fulton he's like oh I haven't seen that belt in a long time talking about the cruiserweight championship I thought, I thought that was pretty cool 
Um, I honestly can't remember like really too much what he said with me because then again that was eight years ago. Um, I know he said something about the weighted all belt, like do I want him to sign this and stuff like that. And I was wearing a um, Triple H t-shirt with like a Jeff Hardy necklace with my weighted all belt. I had long hair, my face was a little bit more chubby. I look a little bit different. But yeah, um, I was just, just a pretty cool experience all in all. And then the second time I met Kofi Kingston, which I really didn't get a, I didn't, don't really think I talked to him at WrestleMania Access, but it was at WrestleMania Access. I wish I would have had like like that picture to show him, but I didn't. It wasn't on my phone. I didn't have enough time to pull it up on Facebook because I just didn't think about it. But yeah, um, so that was my experience, like uh, meeting my first wrestler. Whatever, comment down below and tell me who the first wrestler you met ever was, and tell me about, about like how the experience was. I'm sorry if this video is all over the place. I'm just basically trying to remember the video, or I'm just basically trying to remember the details as I film the video. See, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, like, subscribe. Hope you guys have a good day. Bye.